Painted on twill canvas, red cabbages and garlic is part of a series of still life paintings made when he lived in Montmartre, Paris, and decorated the apartment of his brother Theo van Gogh. The painting utilizes many brush strokes, of blues, greens, and a rusty red for the red cabbage, and yellows and oranges for the garlic, on a white cloth, though the shades used for the tablecloth aged with time, turning from purple into a grayish blue. When Ernst de Witt visited the Van Gogh Museum in Amsterdam last year, he wasn't expecting to leave his mark on art history. De Witt, a chef and visual artist, was admiring work by the famed Dutch artist when his culinary expertise signaled something was amiss, red cabbages and onions, an 1887 still life, had been incorrectly titled. In the foreground of the painting, De Witt saw two heads of garlic, not onions. In November, the museum told De Witt it was changing the name of the painting, which is now listed as red cabbages and garlic. De Witt created a dish inspired by the painting, featuring poached red cabbage and a smoked garlic creme with a vinaigrette of lemon balm. Tarragon and absinthe. Hi guys, I'm going to show you two really quick ways to peel your garlic easily. The first thing you do is just put your body weight onto your clove of garlic and just sort of break it all off. Find the little core end here. Put your knife down like that, but don't go all the way through. And then what I do is I just pinch off this here. And if you're lucky, you'll get a whole strip left, just like that. So I've been lucky. Great. Often you are. Then we put it back down, put the knife back down, just give it a good old friendly tap. Do not cut yourself, angle the blade down. At that point, we just take the skin, garlic, happy days. There's another way to do it. Get yourself a rubber glove. Yes, you heard it right. Take off one of the fingers, take off the end, and you've created a little cylinder. Get your garlic clove, just pop it in and roll it. And then when it comes out the other end, peeled, brilliant. So there you go guys, I hope that was useful. For more tips, just click the link. Vincent van Gogh, born March 30, 1853, Zundert, Netherlands, died July 29, 1890, Auvers sur Oise, near Paris, France, Dutch painter, generally considered the greatest after Rembrandt van Rijn, and one of the greatest of the post-impressionists.